Hazards associated with the marine workplace begin even before you board ship. Shipyards and marine terminals are dangerous places. As you prepare to board your vessel, pay careful attention to yard or terminal requirements regarding things like area restrictions, the use of personal protective equipment, and no smoking warnings. Engage your weather eye and seaman sense, and keep a lookout for dangers like loads in the air or slipping and tripping hazards. Boarding the vessel exposes you to falls, immersion, and even the potential of being crushed between the hull and the dock. As you board, make sure the gangway has been fully secured. Make use of handrails. And remember that running, jumping, and horseplay have no place aboard ship. Hi. 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 I'm Rafita Keys, your new AB. As you join your vessel, you'll receive familiarization training that acquaints you with your ship and the personal safety and social responsibility procedures you're expected to follow. The owner of your vessel has an obligation to provide onboard personnel with a safe workplace. You, in turn, have an obligation to follow established guidelines and rules. Among the first things you need to become familiar with are the vessel's station bills and station cards. No matter how well built the ship or competent the crew, no vessel can eliminate the possibility that it may be involved in an emergency caused by collision, by fire, by foundering, by grounding, or by severe weather. To cope with these emergencies, your vessel has safety plans that assign each crew member a job and a place to go when trouble strikes. Station bills are posted in prominent spaces like mess rooms and lounges. They list each crew member's stations and duties when emergency alarms are sounded. Your station card is posted in your stateroom. It offers additional information about where you should go and what you should do if an emergency occurs.